Now listen, in all seriousness, let me start by saying this. Our hearts and our prayers are with the people of Ukraine. We're thinking of those families, their children, and the people who are being targeted right now. The hell of war has come to their country. And if we ever needed a reminder that leadership has consequences, that it matters, the last 48 hours have shown us what happens when America projects weakness. That is exactly what President Biden has done. A strong American president, a strong president would put their citizens first, and they would take these actions right away. Number one, they'd start and expedite the Keystone XL pipeline immediately. They'd reopen our federal lands for drilling and oil and natural gas exploration. They'd revoke the bans and, on oil and gas leases on the Outer Continental Shelf. They would sign an executive order to cut all the regulations on domestic energy production and its transport to American and European markets. They would immediately, a strong American president, would work with European allies and partners to replace their, part, replace their supply of Russian oil supplies with American energy. And they would hit Putin right where it actually hurts, by enacting heavy sanctions on the Russian energy sector. They'd lead NATO and other Western allies to cut Russia off from the Western economy, banking, financial systems, including SWIFT. If Joe Biden can't, or if he won't do these things, then he should resign. 